Hello, I would like to introduce two prominent keynote speakers participating in our alternate control uh, conference. This is Professor Eric Vogt from the University of Vienna and Trinity College in the United States and Professor Paul van den Haven from the University in Utrecht and Tilburg. Is that right? That's yes. right, in the Netherlands. Uh, okay, well, could you perhaps, I know it's a very difficult and, and vast area, uh, but could you just briefly comment on um, what is the place of humanities in contemporary academic, let's say, life and intellectual activities? Professor Hoven, would you? That's a very, very <laughs> broad question. And I, I would even be tempted to turn it around a little bit. And I would say, what's the role of humanities in social life at the moment? And I think... Um, that, that, that's a neglected and a very, but nevertheless a very important one. Uh, I can give you this very practical example that I give to my students who study uh, cross-media. And that is that I'm involved at the moment in a debate that's in Europe and the United States about the increasing amount of visual text in court procedures. And if I analyze this debate that is now dominated by social sciences and legal sciences, I find so many um, inadequacies in the way people speak about uh, communication by visual text or by verbal text, their differences, their interrelations, that I think the fact that humanity still is silent in a debate like this is very important and very significant and should change. And this is just one example out of numerous I think you can give. And this is one on the very practical level. So I think my neighbor, yes, in a more from a more philosophical background, can even say more fundamental things about this issue. I don't know whether it's more fundamental, but uh, I would, uh, I would uh, say that the, the contemporary status of the humanities is a very precarious one. Uh, it's precarious, uh, perhaps, uh, for two reasons, uh, extra-academic reasons and intra-academic reasons. On the one hand, there has been an enormous pressure on uh, the humanities uh, from the outside to turn more and more towards uh, uh, the questions of applications. Mm -hmm. On the other side, uh, on, and on the other hand, there is a, has been a kind of internal erosion of the humanities. Uh, if one, for instance, thinks of the, the replacement that is so rampant in, uh, especially in the United States, of uh, traditional literary studies, mm -hmm. uh, traditional uh, linguistic studies with so-called cultural studies. Mm -hmm where you have a situation uh, uh, in, in which a traditional um, uh, literary uh, analysis has been almost utterly replaced by f analysis of films, of the visual, as you, as you mentioned. And also this is a very important uh, um, broadening of the horizon, what at the same time uh, might have been lost are the very fundamentals um, uh, that are still needed to uh, adequately uh, address those new um, uh, cultural phenomena and cultural mo uh, new cultural modes of representation. Thank you very much for for the answers to such a such a difficult, but I find it well important also question. Uh, could you perhaps also give us a very brief gist of what you are going to talk about during the conference, Professor Haven? Yeah, well, I, I can try to uh, say the shortest is the, 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 the theme of the conference is alternate construals. And I want to talk tomorrow, say, about some presupposition of this. Uh, my, my main question is why do people not construct alternate construals in almost every situation? Um, I mean, I want to broaden this, but people do sometimes, and uh, I want to research the relation between situations in which they do and in which they don't. But the main focus is on the trivial, is this situations in which people take something as the only possible way to see, to tell, to understand 
while reflection learns that it's highly determined by their experiences and by their culture and therefore there are numerous alternatives but they are not seen, they are not perceived, they are not thematized so that, that's what I call the trivial and that's what I will try to elaborate a little bit upon. And Professor Falk? Yeah, um, uh, my, the focus of my paper is uh, at the question asked to the possibility or impossibility of an alternate uh, construction of language in the wake of Auschwitz. Uh, and I try to pursue this question in light of uh, what has become a, an almost hegemonic discourse within uh, contemporary European philosophy on uh, a language uh, understood in its testimonial structure. Okay, thank you very much for this short conversation and uh, let's go and, and do more things during the conference. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.